100k subscribers um, just doing a quick video I'm sure you can hear my computer behind me um, yeah I've got all my fans on max and my compute, my CPU idle temps is between 45 and 47 degrees Celsius. Now you might be thinking, fuck me, he's got a shit cooler. But you're wrong. I'm currently running a 4.6 gigahertz overclock on air on my i7-920 of all four cores and all eight threads enabled. So. That is just simply how awesome I am. Just wanted to do this quick video telling you that. Um, also, I haven't updated my build blog with my SLI or anything like that. The reason why is I got a second one in SLI. Or um, second as this card in SLI. Um, turns out they are shit in SLI. Like, heroically shit in SLI. And as a result, I've shifted them. And I've now got a couple of other cards in SLI, um, 460s, but I'm not telling you what ones, what the manufacturers, but they are reference design, I'll tell you that. Um, also got some Mishkin RAM now and said some Ridgeback, but I'll be doing, um, can't remember, but yeah, so that will now allow me to get a more better air cooler, like the Noctua. DH14. Now, yeah, I'm doing a cake of battery. Um, what I'm, I'm going to bring you in and show you my um, CPU Z open live right now at 4.6 gigahertz. And I'm going to lower it once I finish this video because it's this mistake. Don't know how well you can see that, but 4.6. No, 4,620 megahertz times 21 on the multiplier, and the base clock is 220 megahertz. Thumbs up, and there's my idle temps, and there's my two 460s. See, GTX 460, GTX 460. Now the volts I'm putting through my CPU to get this is 1.48 on air. Um, not even a high range cooler either. It's a um, high end cooler. I mean, it's about it's a mid mid range. Uh, so. Yeah, just to show you what I do when I'm bored, I break stuff. Last time I was bored, I broke the voltage sensor on my £300 motherboard. So, that ended up quite bad. According to the voltage sensor, I'm currently running 2.112 volts, which we all know will absolutely destroy everything in a three mile radius if I don't if I put that much volts through. You can't even set that in the BIOS. The highest you can set it in the BIOS is 1.9. So I know for a fact I'm not one in 2.12. And definitely at the idle temps of between what's now 44 and 47 degrees. I'm definitely not one in two volts. So yeah, and this time I think I'm very close to either breaking the board, the 300 pound board completely, or the 150 pound processor completely. Um, which is why when I when I eventually stop talking, I am going to lower the a uh, base clock by 20 and the volts, and have a nice 4.2 uh, gigahertz overclock. So um, yeah, that's just sort of going to be an update on my build blog, sort of not. And I've got people talking to me, so I'm going to wrap this up now. So thanks for watching. Remember, comment, rate, and subscribe. And um, 
if you're new coming to the channel because I'm hopefully this will get a lot of views because it's quite awesome. Um, yeah. If you're new coming to the channel, subscribe definitely because I'm going to do some more of this. I'm hoping to get a more high end cooler. I'm going to try and take it above 4.6. I'm going to try and get 5 gigahertz on air, but I might need a higher multi to do that. <laughs> but um, that's someone laughing at me because I told him I might start pissing about and actually lower it before I break it. Because <laughs> um, as it turns out, my 4.6 gigahertz overclock is very temper temperamental. I changed the I up the megahertz going into the PCI slots by one. So it was 101 instead of 100 and it completely freaked out and wouldn't boot into Windows. No, when normally I have it set to 105 so yeah. Hopefully some big overclockers will see that and they'll want me to join. Because I think that's pretty impressive for a 17 year old to be honest. Considering I've only been into computing for about a year. Um, year and a half. Or maybe, yeah about a year. Year and a half I've been into computing. And I'm rocking a 4.6 gigahertz overclock on a 920 on air. You can't say a lot of people have done that now can you? So yeah. Before I keep going around in circles, I'm going to say goodbye. Right, so I just thought you might want to see my um, BIOS settings. I'm not going to fully read them out to you, but... Um, basically, 21 multiplier. I'm sure you can probably see most of that. Because I can see it through the little screen. So, if you switch it to 720p, down in the bottom right corner of the uh, screen, and then you should be able to see it all. Um, just quickly go into here, and that's the settings I have there. Um, one thing I'm going to say is this is nowhere near stable, so if you decide to use it on air cooling and it breaks your processor, I'm not to blame, so do not blame me at all in any way. Because I'll just tell you where you can. where your complaint can be stuck basically where the sun doesn't shine um, also it's not stable so don't expect it to be so the settings I've used there most of you already seen then my timings I haven't even changed any of that. There you go, 1.487 volts. Like there. And the rest below the V core, which um, DRAM voltage, which is there, is all auto, so as you can see. Um, you probably can just use that, set it more stably, I suppose, but. Um, if that's even a word but like I said if you do decide to use these settings just bear in mind the likelihood is that it is not in any way stable and that's that another thing you can do to try and stop you from breaking your chip is in health status look at that CPU temperature 38 my 4.6 gigahertz and it's at 30, 37 I'm well proud of that. Um, I never had it. Oh fuck! Uh -huh. Good job I never te stress tested it. But um, basically, if you go into CPU warning or well, into the uh, health status, you can usually do a warning temperature alarm. So um, what that basically does is if got if the temperature goes above what you state it will go it will either start beeping or it shuts down I'm not actually too sure I haven't tried it and don't plan to but it says now an alarm with when current temperature over than the selected temperature so yeah it has an alarm and that's when you just think oh shit better shut down the computer so yeah 
I'm going to save this setting. Yes. So that's my 4.6 gigahertz. Overclock profile saved. And um, what I'll do is when I get a notch with DH14, like I'm planning on doing, I will uh, do this, put this on again, and just see. You saw it there, but my temperature, idle temperature, is 37. Let's see if that increases. So yeah, I'm now just going to start lowering it while I carry on speaking. Um, one thing I'm going to say. is um, I mentioned that I've got some um, graphics cards in there but I'm not allowed to show you or more to the point don't want to it's more to the point that where I might not be keeping them I don't want to mislead you into thinking that I've got them and I'm using them but I have filmed an unboxing for them and it's currently all rendered sat on my external hard drive waiting to be uploaded so I will get that done. Um, I have to say as it is. Whoops. So um, so uh. So don't mind me just doing some random lower ends and hoping it works out for the best. I can stay as it is. Right, so I have got an unboxing for it, but I don't plan on um on uploading it yet. So, um, I will upload it when I know I can keep graphics card. When I can keep them, then I'll upload it basically. So, thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe and all that rubbish. And, um, goodbye.